have printed probably close to 500 face shields so far. It started with Jake being interested in it and he had brought a 3D printer home um, during spring break and he started printing them and we just kind of posted on Facebook and social media. We had multiple requests in like the first hour that we posted. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that process and we will remove these from the printer. So we saw that there was a big need in the local community. But that's when we started um, printing in our own home uh, just with one 3D printer. And then we reached out to the Sarasota County Schools and were able to secure several more printers. We could uh, really increase our output. This printer right now is printing in layers of 0.2 millimeters. So very, very thin. Not much thicker than a piece of notebook paper. Uh, we're just touching the surface of 3D printing uh, in the schools now, but it is the future of manufacturing. So I'm hoping that the exposure from this project will help the community to realize that it's really a big need and we need to teach our students about this technology. My students have I think they've taken the excitement that I've had for 3D printing throughout the year and some of them have gone out and purchased their own 3D printers and they're able to um, you know, utilize the technology on a smaller scale in their own homes, in their bedrooms and to be able to, to help out on this project is huge. We also had some uh, assistance from our community partners uh, that Sarasota County Schools works with continuously um, the Sarasota Community Foundation and more specifically the Charles and Marjorie Baransic Foundation. We had received a $4,000 donation from the Baransic Foundation which we used to purchase a, a new 3D printer. We also purchased parts for our 3D printers um, to help them um, run a little more efficiently and more consistently. Fantastic Sam's received some face shield. A couple different nursing homes and CNA groups. Lakewood Ranch Medical Center, the ER there has requested some, as well as the, what was the Port Charlotte, the uh, coronavirus ICU, um, the hospital down there, uh, specifically for treating the patients uh, who are infected. I was kind of thinking like, if we get to like a thousand face shields that that would kind of be a cool milestone to hit. This printer is printing almost perfectly. We're not getting any, um, any errors with the layers or anything like that. I always want to do some quality control on it to make sure that we don't have any sharp edges or any uh, like burrs or anything that were created during the printing process. Not everyone has a 3D printer. Not everyone has the ability to do the 3D modeling and create these these items uh, to get them ready for 3D printing. But everyone has a way that they can help and I hope that by uh, it having the exposure of this project and, and people seeing what we've done that everyone will kind of assess what they can do to help. And I think if we come together as a community we're going to get through this uh, much better. We'll come out better on the other side if, if we all are working together to solve the problem.